Yo Joe, talking comics, here's your host, it's A Real American Brian. And it's G.I. Joe time. Issue 17. Uh, we have Major Blood with his first cover appearance, hanging out of a bus firing at some Joes. Mike Vosberg and John D'Agostino provided this cover. Loose ends. Scarlet and Clutch are still working on Hawk after he was shot by Cobra Commander. Clutch lets us know that Hawk was wearing an armored vest, but he is still hurt with some possible internal bleeding. They need to get Doc over here. Doc arrives and tells Scarlet and Clutch to get lost and let him work. The other Joes arrive on the Mobat and they all want updates on Hawk. The tank is blocking traffic and a civilian behind them is creating a ruckus. Gung Ho heads back to take care of the situation. The man tells Gung Ho the car is a Shelby Cobra. Hearing Cobra, Gung Ho snaps and starts destroying the car, leaving the man crying. Doc lets Gung Ho know that Hawk will be okay and they are taking him to the hospital now. Zap, Grunt, Short Fuse, Rock and Roll, and Flash are in pursuit of the Cobra Hiss. Ace and the Sky Strikers offering the Joes and the APC some air support as they hunt down Cobra Commander. In the Hiss tank, Dr. Venom and Cobra Commander discuss the bad shape Destro is in, as he's still out of it after watching his love, the Baroness, die. Cobra Commander tells Destro that he didn't order Major Blood to kill him, a blatant lie, but goes on to say that Major Blood was also in love with Baroness and was trying to take Destro out so he would, didn't have to fight for her affection. After seeing her sacrifice for Destro, he decided he could never have her and left her to die. Destro be believes all of this and is ready to hunt Major Blood. Ace spots the his tank and radios down to Zap so he can alter his course and go after them. Back in the Miami jail, Snake Eyes and Quinn are planning their escape. Quinn has a saw blade hidden in, hidden in his boot, and Snake Eyes has a $100 bill stashed away. Major Blood, who's stowed away in a produce truck, switches vehicles at a toll booth and gets on a bus, where he will have hostages. Pointing a gun at the driver is all it takes for him to follow orders, and we see this just happens to be the bus that Scarface took as well. Stalker and Grand Slam see the bus blow through the toll booth and then catch a glimpse of Major Blood and take off after it. Quinn and Snake Eyes, fresh out of jail, approach a group of guys shooting dice. The men reluctantly let Quinn and Snake Eyes into their game. They tell them the point of the game is Snake Eyes. Dr. Venom gets through to Cobra Central and reports that help is on the way. As Zap is getting closer to the His Tank target, a squadron of aircraft fly over him. The Cobras have sent three Fang helicopters, two jet fighters, and a transport helicopter. Ace is locked and loaded in the Sky Striker, ready to take out some Cobras. Major Blood is hanging out of the bus, shooting at Stalker and Grand Slam when they decide to pull up on his blind side. Grand Slam jumps off the bike onto the bus and crawls across the roof to the front of the bus. And there's a printing error in the G.I. Joe Classic trade paperback I'm reading from, as an earlier page got repeated. I'll put an image of the correct page in the video. Grand Slam smashes through the bus windshield, kicking Major Blood in the face. Major Blood notices Scarface just before Grand Slam pounces on him, continuing to beat the one-eyed villain down. The Cobra Jets head up to take care of the Sky Striker, and the attack helicopters focus on the G.I. Joe APC. Rock and Roll is able to shoot down both attack helicopters, but they see the transport helicopter pick up the hiss with Cobra Commander in it. Ace has both the Cobra Jets in his sights. He is able to take one out, but gets damaged by the other jet. He has to fold his wings and head for the basement, but the Cobra Jet is on his tail. Just as the Cobra gets him in his sights, Ace puts on the air brakes and lets him fly right by. A very Top Gun move, but this book came out a year and a half before Maverick would be doing that in theaters. Ace blows the Cobra Jet out of the sky, but the Sky Striker is damaged and he has to limp it back to the pit. Cobra Commander got away. We see Quinn and Snake Eyes did well on their little street gambling stunt and left with the man's car. 
Quinn reveals they are on the way to Coney Island to look for Scarface, who knows how to get to Springfield, so they can find Dr. Venom and get revenge. Cobra Commander makes it back to Cobra Central with Dr. Venom and the still distraught Destro. In the hospital, we see Major Blood being rushed to the emergency operating room, as it looks like someone has tap danced on his face. The doctor refuses to let the Joes go into the room, even after they explain he's a dangerous terrorist. As they are about to begin working on Blood, an announcement is made that a woman is coming in with 80% of her body burned. The medical team rushes out to prioritize her. Major Blood gets up and attempts to intimidate the nurse that was left behind, but someone else is in the room and pulls a gun on him. It's Hawk. He has blood at gunpoint when a doctor runs in and tells Hawk that the burn victim asked for him, and he is holding Baroness's glasses. The doctor calls Cobra Commander from a payphone and tells him Hawk and Blood are alive, and Baroness is in the burn unit. She may or may not survive. Cobra passes the information on to Destro, but leaves out the Baroness. Destro is upset to hear this and wants to track down Scarface so that he can continue their original plan of infecting him with the toxin and sending him to the G.I. Joe headquarters. Destro informs Cobra Commander that he knows where Scarface would go to hide. Quinn and Snake Eyes get directions to Coney Island. Scarface hops in a cab for Coney Island, and Destro finds a Cobra jet he can take to Coney Island. We're headed towards a showdown, and Scarface is in the middle of it. That is issue 17. It lives up to its name, Loose Ends. It ties up some story elements, but we still have some threads open, though they all seem to be converging. My favorite panel from this issue is Cobra Commander narrating all of Destro's heartache. She was his reason for existence. All his ambition and all his skills were bent to one purpose, to win her everlasting love. He thought he had to win her love. He had to prove himself to her. It never occurred to him that the thing he wanted was always there. He must have realized the truth at the moment she sacrificed herself to save him from major blood. Now his train of logic plods inexorably towards the next obviously glaring question. Why would Major Blood try to kill Destro? Wow, this was another exciting adventure as our ongoing story continues. I'm going to give this issue three and a half flag points as we seem to be uh, setting up for quite the showdown in the next one. That is issue 17. Knowing is half the battle and now you know. Subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video where we dive into issue 18 and see what goes down on Coney Island. So long from Brian. Until next time, same Brian time, same Brian channel.